You know, one of the most dangerous operations of flight is during takeoff and landing when the plane is moving much slower. You see, flight works because we studied a bird's wings. The Wright brothers in their first flight, they learned how to fly by studying the shape of a bird's wings. It's shaped with a very large front end and tapers toward the back. And as it moves through air, the air has to move faster across the top surface than the bottom surface, allowing there to be lift. Well, the Wright brothers succeeded because they got their plane moving fast enough with a bird-shaped wing that it left ground. But what happens when it's moving very slow? It loses lift and it flutters like a leaf. It's called stalling. This happened in Nairobi in 1974. The pilots forgot to deploy their front flaps, which allow them to have more lift as they're slowing down during landing. But where did the idea for these front flaps come from? From studying very large birds, birds like eagles or vultures or large uh, Canadian geese. They have feathers that come out on the front edge of their wing as they're coming in for a landing. If they didn't have these feathers, they would likely crash as they're coming into their last nest or landing on a branch or, or settling onto a lake. You see, God designed these birds with the equipment they need to fly and soar high up in the wind or to come in slowly for a landing without stalling and crashing. And it's by looking at this design that mankind learned how to make very large jetliners that have these deployable front flaps that allow them to slow down safely during landing without stalling. We can learn from creation because a human design has a designer, we can know that a natural design also has a designer. It didn't happen by chance, random mutations and accidents. It happened because all of creation has a designer and that designer is God. Thank you.